Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the first of our community news updates, bite-sized information on what's happening in the 3D printing community and in our shop. A little bit more personal than, say, a newsletter, but with a really quick and easy-to-digest format. So, with that said, let's get right into it. First up is new printers, and in the shop we are getting the CRM4 really soon from Creality. This is a monster printer, 450 by 450 by 470 Reminds me a lot of the CR10 Max that came out three or four years ago, I think. And it obviously had old tech, but this guy, this guy has a Sprite direct drive extruder, which is really cool. It has a powder coated flexible bed, uh, auto leveling with the CR touch, of course, and a touch screen. It also has those diagonal supports that help rigidity in the frame because it's obviously really high. It's a very interesting printer, but it's absolutely massive. So I'd love to see this with the Sonic pad and see how that goes with Clipper firmware. That would be really interesting with that huge, huge bed. Next up is some new filament in the shop. And first up, we have Filamentum's new PETG range. So here is an example of their Bunny Blue Transparent PETG. And it has this kind of frosted blue look. It's nice, I guess. I'm not a huge fan of the frosted blue, but they do also have another PETG, a glitter PETG, which is copper with me. And this monkey dude is really cool. This is PTG and we had no problems except with the support, which we'll get to. Um, it came out really nicely. Really nice, but I love Color Fab's new filament. Such as this guy. This is a nice little Yoda. And this was printed in Vertigo Starlight. So it's a black glitter filament. It's really, really small glitter particles, so it's very subtle. But it looks really nice. Yoda came out really well. And we also have Vertigo Blueberry Night, which is the perfect color for this little haunter guy which was actually a keychain, but I exploded it. And it's massive now, so this is awesome. The color is just absolutely perfect for Haunter. And again, very, very fine glitter particles as well. So it has a very nice subtle look. It came out beautifully on the fl 7 400 And we also have their Chameleon PLA, which still has its supports on, of course. Uh, we're gonna be taking these off. Uh, and I'll get to this in a second because it's really awesome. So this has a beautiful green blue color to it. No glitter particles this time, uh, but it is a really, really pretty color. Wow. So we did mention we had some support issues and this is because we have been trying out Prusa Slicer 2.6. And if you haven't tried this, then try it because it is awesome. The organic supports are so good. But the problem we had with the supports was that the actual support would not mesh with the, the raft that we printed and some of the supports fell off which is why we had some support issues on the the monkey dude but since alpha 5 came out they have fixed this so that now the raft will actually mesh with the support structure so it's held on really tightly and it's perfect we're getting excellent results and it's it's just really pretty to look at someone said this looks like coral i think it looks like a cordyceps virus I hope that doesn't put you off, but it's it's really pretty, so you should get it. In other news, you might have heard that Swedish extruder extraordinaires Bontech have adjusted the design for their main gear on a lot of their extruders. This is because of a video that came out a few months back from Mirage C, where he discussed the kind of inconsistent flow that was coming due to a wobble in the rotation of the main gear. Uh, so Bontech listened, and now they came out with a new design, which is really cool. It's so nice to see that kind of communication and collaboration between manufacturers and enthusiasts. Uh, so props to Bontech and Mirage C for doing this. Bontech are also releasing a new uh, Ridga, Rid, Rid, Ridge, Ridge gear for Extrudort and Sherpa Mini extruders, for which Mirage C also did a review on. So please check it out. It's in the description below. If we take a look at what's going on in the design community, we can see that printables are running a tea box contest. Uh, the jury is still out, but the contest is over and I am an absolute tea addict. So I will be taking quite a good look at this and we have found this wonderful design. This is a tea box with like a little shutter that can bend around. It looks really good. Uh, we're printing it right now, so we're going to have it on our social media in a couple of days when it's ready and we'll see what that looks like. It looks awesome. Can't wait to see the results of that contest. And speaking of contests, if you hop over to thangs.com, we have been collaborating with these guys for uh, quite a few months on their contest, on their leaderboard. So if you design something, put it up on their website, you can actually win a 3D Jake voucher to use in our shop. The contest they run runs every two weeks, and this one presently ends in nine days. 
right now, Chuck is absolutely kicking ass. Well, well done, Chuck. Uh, the top prize is $350, so I hope you can upload something and make use of that voucher. Okay, that about does it for this week, but we'll be back soon with another community news update. If you have an opinion on something that we brought up, then let us know in the comments below. And if you have a story that you think we should feature in our next community news update, then please also let us know. We'd love to hear from you. So until then, later, guys. Bye.